Hello and welcome along to the next instalment of my Camber Cod version YouTube channel. Now this video is going to be prepping this Ford Connect that I've pretty much finished converting into a micro camper van, ready for a paint job. Thankfully the panels are good on it, there's very very few dings and dents, the sills have already been replaced and this is just a bit of surface rust off the paint that was applied after they've already been replaced. So I'm going to be grinding these back and just applying a layer of uh, primer, just ready for paint. It's going to be the same on the other side, and again then just taking care of any daft little rust scabs that I can see. But there's very very few, as I say there's one there, tiniest, tiniest of spots there that I might just knock straight back. Little bits there just by the uh, door as well, but that's minimal. It's again, it's just all surface stuff. Same on the other side. I've already got a replacement bumper, there should be a video on my channel showing how I've replaced that one. If it's not on already, it'll be on there soon. On the passenger side, again, it's pretty much the same on the sill. It's, again, it's been replaced, so it's just going to be tidying up all of the uh, replacement work that's already happened on it. Just again, just to get it ready for paint. And then I'm just going to be taking care of a few little dings here and there that are around the van. Not much, I've still got a little scratch there on the window just to smooth off that little bit I did the majority of it when I fitted the window uh, because when I bought the van it had a big deep scratch there and it's just got another little indentation just there that needs to take care of as well I've already done the roof rust there should be a video on my channel of that if there isn't again it will be soon but the roof itself was absolutely pitted with uh, rust scabs all the way over it so that took a hell of a lot of work that took about three days just to get the roof done other than that you've got tiny tiny little things and smallest of stuff like that there's another one here just the smallest smallest of stuff so that's just going to need a little flat back on the paint skim over and then try and get it as smooth as possible the front is okay i've took the covers off the wheel arches the wheel arches themselves are okay as well so I'd say it's more just a case of tidying up the sills, just filling in a couple of tiny little dings, and then giving the whole van a flat back ready for a paint job. So I'll get my tools out, get the safety gear on, and get ready to crack on. Well, as you can see, that's all of the surface rust off the sills taken back. It's gone back to good metal all the way along. You can see where it's been previously replaced. You can see all the spot welds going along. So now it's all been taken care of. All of the surface rust that was starting to accumulate again, that's all been removed. So now I'm going to actually smother the entire sill with some rust converter. Sorry, some rust remover first, then some rust converter. Then it's actually going to get all stone chip guarded, just to be sure, and then it should be future proof for many, many more years to come. So that's one side all ground back. I'm just going to go and get the rust remover first, and then I'm going to apply that, and while that's doing its thing, I'll then crack on and get the other side sanded down. So these are the rust treatments that I actually use. I normally use the Rustin's rust rem remover first, that can really get in and get a lot of the surface pitting back to nice shiny metal and then just to protect the metal afterwards then I'll apply some crust which transforms any rust that might still either be remaining or it's like if that has deep pitting that the rust remover hasn't been able to get at the crust should then transform it back into a uh, more solid metal and slow down if not stop the rusting altogether so I'm going to get this applied and hopefully by the time I'm finished the sill should look pretty much as new.
So there's the passenger side sill, all sanded back now as well. You can see little bits of pitting inside it, so it's a good thing that I'm treating it now, otherwise it would have just started to eat away over time. <coughs> and then it would have just been a case of getting them replaced all over again, maybe a couple of years down the line if that. Hopefully by doing this and giving them a full rust treatment and then the stone chip protection as well, this should protect them for many more years to come rather than just leaving them as they were. So while I've been grinding that one, the rust remover has been doing its stuff on the driver's side and as you can see anywhere that was showing a little bit of pitting and brown has uh, turned black. That's what the rust remover should do, it should uh, remove it all off and then give it a wipe over with some white spirits which I'll go and do now and then it'll clean it right up. But then just to be doubly triply sure I'm going to be using some crust on it as well, get that smothered on and then once that's actually had a chance to cure that's when the stone chip will get applied. So I'm going to clean all this uh, rustings off on this side, get it applied on the other side and then uh, we'll get around to some crust as well. So I've wiped off all of the rustings now, so now it's time to apply some crust. Again, empty it out into another container and just apply liberally. This stuff needs to cure for, for about three hours, then it's okay to paint. So I'll get it applied now and hopefully I should be able to get some paint applied later on. So I've just finished treating the passenger side with the crust as well. I didn't bother filming that, it's just exactly the same as what you just saw. Wiping off the uh, rust, into rust remover first with the white spirits and then just applying the crust quite liberally. As you can see it's turning the metal a bluey black tingy colour. That just means it's reacting with any sort of uh, residual rust pitting that might still be within the metalwork. So now this just needs two or three hours just to finish drying up, curing up, then I'll be ready to apply some sort of either primer or stone chip or a bit of both, maybe some red oxide then some stone chip just to be trying to get this as protected as possible. So I'll pick it back up when it's uh, ready to paint. So now all the hammerite crusts had a good chance to dry up, I've just gave it a quick wipe down, I've just masked off the area as well, all the way along, all the way inside as well. And now I'm just going to give it a good protecting with some stone chip. Apply that first and then the, the actual van's going to be going in for full paint as well. So once the paint's been applied over the stone chip as well, then that means the sills should be fully protected for many more years to come. So I'll get some of this applied. That'll make this look a hell of a lot neater. And then you'll see the fully final finished uh, painted sills uh, when the van goes in for paint. But in the meantime, I'll get this applied and see what it looks like then. Right, so I've just been round and done a second coat with the uh, stone chip as well. I didn't bother filming the second coat, just exactly the same as the first, all the way around sills and underneath. I managed to do both sides and underneath out of the one can, so that's not too bad either. But as you can see there, it's made a hell of a difference compared to what they would look like before I started uh, any sort of restoration on them. As I said the metal itself was always good, it was just flaking paint. It was making it look really scruffy, a lot worse than it actually was. No metals had to be replaced, it's just been a case of grinding it all back, back to good metal, giving it some rust treatment. Now it's had the stone chip, and I said the van will be going in for paint shortly as well, so after that's been applied over the stone chip, you won't even be able to tell that uh, it's all been recently repaired. So I'll just show you the other side as well. Obviously that's why the uh, arches are off as well. side as well and underneath and 
it's just just smart and oh look made uh, it's made a hell of a difference made it look a hell of a lot nicer and nicer and neater and I say by the time it's all had its fresh paint applied over it as well it, I'm not going to say it'll look like new but it'll look a hell of a lot better than what it was when I first got the van so I hope you found this video useful if you did please do give it all, uh, that good old thumbs up have a look at my channel there's loads of videos on my channel uh, it's documenting VWT4 uh, Daihatsu Hijet, this Ford, uh, there's going to be a T5, another Hijet, so loads of content, loads more content to come as well, so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, that's it, give the video a good old thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching, cheers.